Dank für Speise, Trank und die Übernachtung. Das war echt toll. Tschüss. You can already hear the rainfall, the waterfall, the massive waterfall, but unfortunately you can't see it from here. I could charge the batteries a little bit and uh, I have done four kilometers by now and I am in Schaffhausen where the big rainfall is and um, well and uh, I have got slightly difficulties because on my GPS device I don't have got the map of Switzerland. My mobile phone is running out of internet data because yesterday it you all the apps used all the data in the background so even at, <laughs> at the end of the day I spent 60 euros for nothing and I hadn't got a clue about it. Yeah. So I don't have got internet, but I have got another map with an, uh, another app with another map. This one is working offline and there I have got this Switzerland map on. Thanks God. <laughs> so I find my way and hiking along the Rhine. I mean, even me can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get lost and the camping site is approximately 10 kilometers away from me. I will manage it. So fucking frustrating. On the maps you can see there is a camping site. Everywhere is written camping site, camping site, camping site. Yeah. But nowhere is written that it's a private camping site. Oh, it really pisses me off. If you are hiking 17 kilometers and then something like that and there is no phone number and nothing and uh, and it's just you know it's just frustrating so, so I will camp somewhere in the woods if I find something and I will do that soon I have got one battery left it should be enough to bring me to Monica tomorrow and yeah, the rest will be adventure as always have a look what kind of really nice place I found right at the Rhin Rhine and if there won't be a flood <laughs> anything will be good great ah isn't it amazing that's why I love being on the road because every minute is a surprise I mean just half an hour I was re half an hour ago I was really pissed because of this non camping site and then one kilometer later there was this farmhouse and all over are fences and cows and, and uh, apple trees and uh, meadows with apple trees and then I thought oh, I just ask him 
Uh, I rang the bell and then he was really very, very nice and very friendly. And then he said, I just walk 500 meters more there at the uh, River Rhine. Um, uh, there is a nice spot there you can uh, do your camping for the night. He owns this part too. I mean, they are so blessed yeah, with owning something like that. And um, yeah, and now I have got one of the most or one of the nicest spots since I'm on a, on the road this year, which is really very nice. Thank you, universe or Dada or whoever. I still have to learn one big thing because my emotions are always exploding. <laughs> For example, with this camping site or this non-camping site before. I mean, I planned the entire day to it. I, uh, I was excited. I hoped it, it's nice and everything. And then I'm arriving there and there is nothing. And then all my hopes yeah, are gone like that. Yeah. But in my talks, in my speeches, I always talking about accept what you can't change. And usually I'm talking about uh, the death. But of course, the meaning during our daily life is the same. Accept what you can't change and be calm and accept it in a very calm way you know, and look immediately forward to, to, to the solution you know, and trust in the universe or whoever because what will come instead is most of the time better <laughs> than what you planned. Yeah. I experienced that so, so often. Yeah, and still I'm hanging on my plans. And that's just bullshit. One, two, one, two, three, start. <laughs> Sitanam, 